Hello students, welcome once again to my channel. Now on this section, we are going to find the equation of circle tangent to the y axis given the center 6 and 7. Now we realize that the most important thing to take note of is the center here and the y axis given over here. Now the center here is being, being given as 6 and then 7, right? And we are saying that it is tangent right at the y axis right so since it is tangent at the y axis well what we do is that um since um equation of a circle is given by um, x minus h or squared here then plus y minus k squared here being equal to r squared where h and k represent the center right so if h and k represent the center then we are saying that so h and k is representing the center so therefore we have x here minus six so we have x minus 6 here, right, squared, plus, then also we have y here, then minus 7 here, squared, being equal to r squared. Now the question is, what is the radius, right? What is the radius? So first, what we'll do is that we are going to sketch um, the um, the um, the center. So let's look at it on a Cartesian plane. So we have um, this over here, right? So we have um, x and y. So on the x axis we have 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then also we have on, on the y axis we have 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can have it somewhere here, right? We can have it somewhere here, right? That will be 6 and then also 7 right now the question says that it is tangent to the y axis now what is what does it mean so being tangent to the y axis which means that it touches one point on the y axis right so let um so to draw tangent so let's say for instance you have a circle right so we are saying that um this line here a point touching it over here so we can have um, a line here and this will refers to us as the tangent line which is um, um passing through the intercept of a point so we can have another point here in this way also so that's what it means now since this is the center right we have the center here now the distance from the center all the way to a one point on the y axis is refers to us as the radius right so we have um and a point on the y as a so therefore we can draw the circle here as um something like this so a big circle sorry a big circle passing through it right so that will be the circle here now so if that is the case now what is the distance from here to here the distance from the point on the y as is to the distance to of the center so the distance here is basically we counting it over here so we have um the distance here to be six because a point from year to year that is basically from the origin to a point six here is just six right so we have um this here as six so we have the radius here to be six right so now if the radius here is six because we are taking the point from year to year so um one realize that we have um r here being equal to six now what is r squared so r squared will just be uh, we squaring the 6 over here so r square is basically going to be equal to 36 if that is the case then therefore the equation of the circle here is just going to be x here minus 6 all squared right plus y here minus 7 here all squared being equal to r squared which is just 36 right so that will be the um the equation of the circle which is tangent to the y as is giving the center as six and seven thank you very much for joining me in this section if you are new here please like subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified anytime we post a new video thank you very much and i'll see you guys in another section